come make some noodles with me. Good medium sized bowl, heap in two cups of flour. Add my one teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add one third cup of water in to create a rough dough. A rough dough should be kind of flaky and not fully mixed through. We are going to plop our dough down. Our dough. I recommend kneading the dough for around five to 10 minutes to allow gluten to develop and have better elasticity, which will allow the noodles to not break as easily when you stretch them out. Now, when you're done, it should look like this. And what you're going to do is you're gonna get this into kind of a rectangle shape. And we're going to cut it into six different sections. So eyeball it to see the most appropriate. So now you're going to roll it into sections. After you cut it into sections, you're going to take each small section and you're going to kind of roll it into a little tube. You're going to want olive oil. And the reason why you want this is because for me personally, I realized that it helps avoid the noodles drying out and helps them make sure that they're easy to pull apart. And so what I'm just doing, I'm going to drizzle a little bit over. Roll it. Then of the olive oil, we're gonna get some saran wrap and you're gonna put that on top of your noodles to make sure that they don't dry out for the hour that they are going to lay and rest. Letting them sit and rest allows the gluten in the flour to relax and allows the noodles to become a lot stretchier. So I really recommend you waiting for the entire. So after an hour of waiting, we are now ready to pull apart our noodles. Something to keep in mind is that so stoves do take longer to boil water. And for me personally, these noodles don't take that long to stretch out. So I'm gonna be boiling my water as I pull them out right now. So you are gonna wanna make sure that you have a nice clean area and you're gonna be using one little roll at a time. And you're going to want to get a chopstick so you can make a little indentation in the middle. So on my clean surface, I'm going to grab one of my noodles and I'm gonna place it on flat with the counter and I'm going to make a small little indentation and now I'm going to slowly and gently pull apart that noodle I'm having to get very creative with these angles here you're gonna pull it apart and you are actually going to just now whack it across the counter as hard as you can and stretch it out now you can find the middle and pull it apart as so this noodle is going to be extremely long now you can gather it and start a pile and now you are going to repeat this for the rest of the log one fun fact was that la mian originated from lanzhou china documented around 1504 in a dietary manual now in a pot of boiling water you can just grab your noodles and, and place it in like that. You can stir it around and make sure that none of the noodles stick together. The oil should also help with this. Now for the sauce, there's a lot of different options you can do. I'm gonna start collecting my ingredients right now. I currently have seasoned soy sauce, oyster sauce, sesame oil, chili oil, and chili flakes. Some other really great alternatives are garlic, green onions. I love having chili crisp in it. Um, and then I can also add a list here of other things that you can add to your noodles to make it customizable. So as you can see, I ended up changing out my pot because it was too small and it needed more room, but it should take around four minutes for the noodles to fully cook because they are freshly made. Once they are done, you can pop them out into a strainer and then start making your sauce in the same pot. One tip that I always like to see is that when the noodles are floating, it means they are done. And now getting ready with the sauce, I am going to put some oil some chili flakes then I'm going to put my noodles in now I always say measure with the heart so I'm going to put some soy sauce some oyster sauce chili oil so now we're going to mix 
Now you mix until it's all stirred. And this is when you can add your other toppings.